433 formation or a 433 so the chap who promised to score a goal today against Hearts of Hope well that's a very tall one there promising to score against Accra Hearts of Hope don't forget Accra Hearts of Hope are in their prime chalking a few successes in the last couple of games they've had particularly the President's Cup against their arch rivals Asante Kotoko now, this afternoon Accra Hearts of Hope who are in the 8th position mid table uh, are looking forward to 3 maximum points at stake which will help them push up the ladder in terms of a position for west africa football academy occupying a precarious 17th position they obviously need the points as badly as they can Malay get is the center referee for this afternoon's uh, game he's from wa and uh, mumuni fusaini and avinu prosper sotoji will be manning lines one and lines two respectively with eric sefa entry our fourth official uh, match commissioner is a health educationist Emmanuel Asante from the Ashanti region, Kumasi. Richard Atta is looking uh, forward to this game with bated breath, of course, as I stay clearly on the team. That's the bench of Accra Hearts of Oak. And uh, they'll be looking forward to bringing on a few of those players, particularly the one on the left, Patrick Razak. So all is just about said. Marlene Gede will be ushering us into the first 45 minutes of action here at the Accra Sports Stadium as Accra has to so defend the independent square end of the field. Wafa are playing in their away colours of white and red. And it's going to be a first free kick to the visitors going down in the uh, centre circle was Michael, Che and Dankwa. So again, Wafa coming in with a lot of steady uh, players. Performances has not been the best this season, but of course, a lot of connoisseurs of the game believe that Wafa have uh, what it takes to bounce back to uh, three points a day. Let's see whether this will be the beginning of good things to come for them. Well, they need to, they need to lift up their game here if they want to survive the super champions. I mean, before kickoff, coach Julian was like, got said about the team, and uh, he mentioned that a lot of key players about nine key players from last season's uh, triumphant team that broke the record accumulating the most highest of points Wafa has ever gained in the Premier League. Forward thrust by Aqua Hearts of Hope. Trust Suleiman Tariq to play the uh, roaming role in this game. Robert Adosoa has been steady in defence uh, this season for Aqua Hearts of Hope. And it's a first opportunity. Barnier can he latch onto it, good defending. An easy as far as the Sugakope lads clear their lines perfectly. Ball on the near side now. And uh, let's watch out for the likes of Emmanuel Ajiman. Steady performance he's had over the last couple of uh, games for Wafa. Header on and there they go. This is an opportunity for Moses Aidemi. Into the 18 yard box. Good recovery though. As ball uh, is taped into a corner kick. Dennis. In Kruma Corsa, and he's been putting up above average performances since he joined the Phobians from the Bushina Corsa. Yeah, very good play from Wafa here, and supposed to side him, but then you see the recovery from Corsa. Very good tackle there. He had to go for that tackle, and that Moses Saidem was going to turn in a very dangerous cross. Corner quickly affected. Wafa come up with the first opportunity, ball threaded through by Fat Sana. Wafa come close now, it's a long ball, but that's not uh, strong enough from Emmanuel Achiman. Don't keep that deals with that easy. Yeah, another good play from Wafa, trying to put the super champions under pressure. But that one from Achiman straight into the hands of uh, Richard Atta. And they need to create enough if they have to score Wafa. All the opportunities obviously will be there and theirs for the uh, taking. Trying to see whether they can break down the resoluteness of the phobians. Early days yet. Macra has to try to press high in this early part of the game. Well brought down nicely by Tosuche. He's picked up in midfield and on the near side waiting is Marvin also Marvin gets it. He's still got options up in front of him and they come forward. This time Michael Che coming up to the far side. Looking good for Wafa. Careful build up by the lads from Sokakope. Fatao called upon to defend uh, and eventually it falls to Mohamed Alassan. Back to Fatao. An 
easily kicks the ball out. Good touch there from Bob Ingenia. And it's the Phobians looking impressive as they come forward. Cross thread through. Foot in there before Banier could get to it, but the fall, ball falls to him favorably. Sule with a the cross. There's no Phobian there to connect. Arriving eventually there on that occasion was Obin Kodojinia. But again, Accra had to focus, still keep the pressure on their opponents as they come forward. Abdul Aziz. Yes, in Kumakosa. So they organize themselves uh, carefully from defense. Still in their half, Nuruddin finds Soa. Then he avails himself for a pass. Good tackle in, but that was a very strong one. It's still maintained by Salim Adams late on the pass. Nuruddin is there to pick it up, and Accra has to go keeping the ball to themselves at the stage, trying to draw out the young lads from Wafa. On the near side now is Salim Adams. Well, at the moment, what for not giving has to focus any breathing space in the middle. And they are closing in on has to focus. Has to focus. Holding on to the ball, but not making any progression down the final third. Yes, yeah, Salim Adams tried to jam his man, but caught in the traffic there. And it was fast, Sana, without tackle. Raha to focus now, creating opportunities as they come forward. Shot is fired on target. That was a good one from Salim Adams. By the way, bodies in the way. It's now the turn of Sule Montari. Ball is headed back nicely to Osaiko Joe Bonsu. That was good defending from Henry Owari. With a calm header back to his goalkeeper, Kojo Bonsu. And already, five minutes, the game leading up to the billing, both teams already possessing a lot of the ball. Well, West Africa Football Academy showing glimpses of the good old days, especially last season. Played out by Fatal. Fully picks it up and gives the ball away. Fights for it and gets it. Tackle from behind there on uh, Free Ebanye. Player apologizes quickly and the game will continue. And then we see the pass from Chroma Corsair straight from the back was Derek Mensa. And out of four, we'll be relying on the free and baggage space. Here he is. Now here he goes, but the flag is up. That's a very thoughtful pass there from Suli Ali Muntari. And that's what he brings. To table for out of folk, Sule Ali Mutari picking up those very intelligent passes in between and looking for the run of Efri Ebani and Isaac Mensa. Ebani are very pacey, very dangerous as well. Wafa putting their passes together and coming forward now. This is Emmanuel Ajiman. Gets a decent crossing, but there are no white shirts there for the follow up. Picked up nicely by Richard Attack. And for me, Prince, that's where Wofa needs to do a lot more better in the final third, where they need to get in those decisive crosses, they need to really create and open the defense of Hatsoko. Hats come out of their defensive shell once again. This is Adosowa. Lovely pass to the far side. It's picked up by Fatau. Fatau sends in the cross. And it will be picked up nicely by Osei Kojogo. Yeah, not a very good cross from the captain down the right side. Yes, it did well, first of all. Very pacey, very intelligent, but it's the final delivery that, that we are talking about. It's not the best. It, it, it needs to be a pinpoint cross, very intelligent one. And the likes of Kudrobi Jr. and Isaac Mess are waiting for a wonderful delivery. Could it get to them? Out of nine matches played at home this season, Accra Hearts of Oak have lost just once. Picked up a few draws along the way. Now is the turn of Wafa to come forward. Tosuche is waiting in the middle. But they control the game and nicely at this stage. Farsana comes in to help. He gets the ball once again. Sends it all the way back. And John Tedeku will definitely be relying on a lot of his uh, long span of legs. Fan sends it all the way back. 
picked up nicely. Wafa keep the ball to themselves. Fans will applaud. Obviously not overawed at this stage, playing against Accra Hearts of Folk. Of course, a team they have beaten many a time. And uh, once upon a time, it was a whooping scoreline. Robert Addo. Picked up by Kosa. Sule pushes forward. Can Dennis get to it? Quick recovery by Wafa. Ball is shepherded over the line. Nicely done. Montari goes down. Seems to have picked up uh, an injury along the way. Well, he's holding his right anchor, I guess. And for that perfect pass, it was a brilliant one. Quick one, two between Corsa and then uh, Montari. But just after that pass, he went down. Montari being worked upon at this stage. See the ball from Kosa and then the back flick previously done. But from the pass, immediately he went down, so they retired. Yeah. And I don't tackle. He went down holding his ankle. And I'm going to see him back though. Yeah. He's up and about, and I'm sure that he would love to continue in the game. At uh, head coach Guillermo. Well, let's see what he can come up with against the crowd hard to go. Well, he spoke about upsetting our support today. We want to see how he can do it. I've not seen much from Wafa in the final third. He's not created enough to future looking dangerous as usual, but the supply has not been there. He has fired. Sends the ball all the way back to Derek. Immense injury. Said Kodoboso with a long one. Flicked in and careful defending by Kodoboso with a long ball in. Still goalless here at the Accra Sports Stadium if you've just joined us. It's the Ghana Premier League match day 19. Accra Hearts of Hope taking on West Africa Football Academy. 25 minutes gone in the first half. Yeah, I'm doing it. All over both sides and hidden chair, you see, shoes and everything in the that time. Wafa trying to come forward, too enterprising on that occasion. Goal kick to the Phobians quickly infected 11 times. In that's their last 11 meetings, has have won three times. Five of their matches have ended in, in draws, whilst uh, Wafa have also picked up uh, three wins. Yes, Costa. Free it to the ball across the line. Well, Free it by should be watching the lines already. He was in an outside position before Costa. Trying to lead that pass there. He was fully retiring. And then Costa with that pass. But Manny was coming out from an outside position. Offer themselves throughout the 26 minutes. It's not showing anything up from. They're going to be very good to come from Wafa. Most certainly, and even the drive, the passion from the likes of uh, Justus Tosuche has certainly not been forthcoming. Or oh, declare the ball out of uh, play into touch. Mali in Gede says it's a throw in to uh, Wafa. Amazing. The supporters here are very much annoying them. <laughs> you didn't see the ball touch anybody. Or was that kick from Awari straight to touch? Eric Mensa with the throw. Controlled nicely by Fad. Back to goalkeeper, and then uh, he moves the ball downfield. But again, Wafa have done quite well, matching Accra Hard to Folk at least for the first 27 minutes of the game. And now it's an opportunity for the West Africa Football Academy lads as they come forward. And it resulted in a goal. Attack had that covered all the way. Lovely play from Wafa. 
on the counter. I was quick passing. The center of the attack was to Suche this time around, turning the foot over by himself. Yeah, we see that pass from Archibald. Just look at the turn around. Brilliant pass from Tosuche to locate fast Sana. And Sana will release that pass. And that was not a good finish from Marvin Owusu. Sana here. Brilliant dummy. Tried to set up uh, Marvin Owusu and Owusu. That was not clinical. Poor. Cool. Game will continue in earnest. Suli having a word with the centre referee, Mali Ngede. Gulemo has uh, been on his uh, feet for a while now. The head coach of Wafa. Suli plays one pass forward. The free gets his head to it, controls it nicely and lays the pass. And referee has given the advantage to Wafa for that uh, late challenge. Yeah, good call from Mali Ngede. It was a late challenge on uh, John Teriku. And Wafa, apart from that brilliant move a while ago, they have been really poor up front, but has to put themselves at really also be poor. Not getting the right combination, not getting the right pass at the right time. And uh, Wafa pretty frustrating the super champions. Last season, Wafa came visiting here at the Accra Sports Stadium and went back with a 0-4 disadvantage at the expense of Accra Hearts of Oak. A game in which they have them puffed, they put up their best. But goals from the likes of uh, Patrick Razak, Isaac Mensah, Radhi Ovuka, and Michel Sapon did them in. And it was only in the return encounter which was also the coronation match. That was where Wafa were able to beat the Phobians by one goal to nil, courtesy Ate Yusufu. And after Hasofo won the President Cup a few days ago, you would have expected to see avalanche of goals from a team that was on a high playing against a striker inside like Wafa. Yeah. Well, both teams are where well, I didn't pick a point. The last time they were engaged in the Ghana Premier League, King Faisal beating Wafa by two goals to one in Sugakobe. And Accra Hearts of Oak and Legon Cities battled to a 1-1 drawn game. Recovered there by uh, Captain Fatao finds a uh, wretched attack. And again, a while ago, we saw that confusion in attack for Hearts of Oak. There was no telepathy there. Picked up nicely in midfield. Fine. Yeah. This time around, lovely play from Hearts of Oak. And this is what we are talking about. Very intelligent play here. Good job, with Junior. With Sule Mutari passing. You know, combining very well. That was a beautiful shot from Kodro B. Junior. Straight at goalkeeper. Osel Kodro and the follow-up from Isaac Mesa. Clear out of danger. There, look at the combination. The one-two between two and Mutari. And Obi Junior. Obi Junior with that snapshot. Straight at goalkeeper. Osel Kodro and the follow-up shot. There, blocked there by Derek Mesa. And this time around, that was some beautiful combination there from Sule Mutari and Kodro B. Junior. Corner kick to the Phobians, Henry Owari passed the testing, that uh, build-up. Header on target, played out. Salim could just not connect. I mean, he has been very enterprising, Salim Adams. Very quality player, but he's not keeping his composure. He's not here. Yeah, he should have gone for goal with that header, but it was not clearly created. The follow-up from the left foot off target here. He should be heading that ball straight. Into the yawning net. Again, he got the second part of the cherry, but blasted wide. Good pressure from Asafu. Wafa stand tall. Oh, um, balling. Tosuche gets his head to it, but Adosua hits it back into enemy territory. Referee blows the uh, whistle. 
Sharks haven't scored in four of their nine home matches this season. They drew blank against the uh, Legon Cities. They drew blank against Kotoko. They drew blank against Bechem. And it was their city rivals who clipped them by one goal to nil. Shot is on target. No, it's off target. Clearly and completely off target. Yeah, the pace of Banier down the left side. Warren, the defense of Wafa there. Brilliant pass. It was a lovely cut, -cut, -cut back from a few year Banier. Here we see the pace. And a cut back. Excellently done, but Salim Adams again got it all wrong. Yeah. Without technique, he wanted to go for goal. Went for glory, but blasted wide again. An awkward bounce of the ball just before it got to his foot. Ensured that his delivery was way off target. And he went for laces, but he would have gone with a side kick of his foot. Fatao recovers nicely for Hearts in defense, and they come out strong once again Sule Montari ball goes out into touch the advantage will stay with Akra Hearts of course a throw-in by uh, Dennis blocked by Fad the Burkina Bay youngster living up to expectation continuing the good work he did with his former club in, in uh, Togo. Again, no understanding between the three year banner of the two of Virginia. Just look at the face of Samuel Gordon. Very shocked and surprised. And those two, they have been playing for out of folk for seasons now. They should be having that telepathy and understanding between them. Exactly. Obviously, not there on that occasion, okay. giving the advantage to Wafa. And I think Wafa would go into the dressing room, the happier side. Tedoku wins a throw in for Wafa. Well, of course, as a folk, they have been very dominant. And it's just when they get to the final third, they're not doing the right things. Either they are in a haste or they're not picking the right passes. Or they're not, you know, doing what could get them the goals. Four minutes of time added on, it will be. There's Isaac Mensah. Nuruddin will come in to help. And again, Wafa marking out all the Accra Hearts of players, making it difficult for them to head through. Sule, Heda was poor. Salim recovers. Total workout by Sule Muntari, especially in this first 45 minutes has been quite above average oh lovely skill by the uh, Burkina Bay fast sets up a pass they coming forward slowly but surely oh virtual delivery was not the best and, and this clearly tells you that indeed the more they keep coming forward the more they create the chances for themselves unfortunately Marvin was off target it was a lovely counter attack and this man this young chap fast Sana started it all with that brilliant skill to get the midfield open there looking for Marvin Ousu they will see the skill from the young chap brilliantly went past Salim Adams and created the opportunity and Marvin with Tosuche waiting for a pass down the right side he went for glory and that was really poor very very poor game continues in earnest now and Wafa may not be in the driving seat, but they certainly have played according to the instructions of Coach Guillermo. Long ball in by the goalkeeper, but he goes straight into touch. That's Kosa. Fad working very hard in midfield for Wafa. Yes, Salim. Mohamed Alassan has taken off and gets the ball now. This could look interesting. Crosses deep, the header is on, but it's straight into the waiting arms of goalkeeper for Seiko Jobos. They are better delivery from Mohamed Alassan, who made that overlapping run down the right side. And for a central defender to deliver, 
that ball into a perfect position where could you Obi Junior got a header on it. Great job done by Mohan and Hassan. And then again, that header lacking power to beat Osei Kudu. So Accra has to folk will still keep pushing. We've done three minutes of time added on. We're into the last minute. Oh, ball by Dennis. Brought down nicely by free. Sule is there to help. He can dish in a good cross. Tries to find a free, but is well read by the defense of Wafa. Oh, down goes the youngster, Moses Aidem. Yeah, not a good tackle from Dennis Corsa this time around. And lucky to escape the yellow card. Was a, a very tired challenge from Dennis Corsa. Talking to these youngsters from Wafa, one gets the feeling that it's almost always a pleasure playing in the Ghana Premier League because it gives them an opportunity to rub shoulders against some of the finest footballers we have here on the local scene and also pushes them up in terms of the talents that they pick up, the kind of development that they want as an academy team. Yeah. Referee says we've had enough. Mali Mgede brings the uh, half to an end. <laughs> 